Hello my art loving friends. I have a very exciting video for you today. Today is the day we are finally getting into the paint by number. So one of the reasons I am so excited to do this paint by number is because I haven't done one, I don't know, since I was little, I think. <laughs> and I'm just really curious what I'll think of it and I have a feeling it's gonna be really fun. So we'll see. Also, this is part two of a video. I received a package from a company that had diamond painting in it, and that was so much fun. In fact, I wanna do some more. I will link that video up in the corner for you. And then I also had this paint by number, so let's just get started already. Okay, this might be hard to see, but this is the paint by number. Anyway, they said on the instructions, if it, they tried to send it rolled up, but if it has creases or anything, they claim you can iron it. <laughs> So I have the iron here on the linen cotton setting and I'm just gonna test a corner, make sure not gonna hurt anything. Okay, it looks like it's going to be okay. It really probably doesn't need that. I could probably have gotten away. It's just that edge is pretty creased up, but it's off the end of the painting, but I still wanna just see if I can straighten it out a little bit. I think that would be kind of cool. So I just have it laid over the top of a regular bathroom towel which is a little thick, but I think it's working. I think it's working. The kitchen towel might have worked better, but that's okay. So I do think it's working just fine. Okay, so it is straightening out the little bins where the postal service kind of crink crinkled it. It's good. I think I'm gonna have to flip it over to get this crease. Which I didn't want to iron on the side with the, the uh, numbers. That makes me very nervous, but Seems pretty sturdy. The other side has gesso on it though, so <laughs> we will test a corner again because that's scary. Can this iron handle gesso without hurting it? Looks like it. Ooh, that got like burning hot like when vinyl is really hot, but look at that. Looks like it worked. All right, I'm not gonna press my luck too much. <laughs> One more area right there, I think. Well, that looks pretty nice and smooth. I love it, okay. Now, we start painting, yay. One thing the instructions did say when you are using light colors on this piece, you can use some white acrylic paint and go over these numbers first and cover the numbers before you paint the light color and that will help prevent them from showing through. They did also say that you could just use multiple coats of this same color and not have to pull out a white but I kind of like the idea of just covering it with white because I do that when I acrylic paint anyway. When I am covering a darker color with a lighter color, I'll put a white down first and then like the light yellow or whatever color I'm using can go over it. So this is just acrylic gesso and it's white, so I'm going to use that. The number nine is the one I'm going to start with. There's a huge area of number nine. So I'm also going to find it very interesting if this is enough paint. I only have one tube of number nine. I actually looked at this section and I'm like, oh, hopefully they included more than one. So it'll be fun to see if that actually works. I'll start with their brushes, but all we have is this little flat and these teeny tiny detail ones, which are gonna be great for some of these areas. But I suspect I'll be getting out my own brushes, which is fine. So I'm going to just cover these right now with some white because I am going to do the entire section nine right now. So. I can see this white blob on the canvas, so I know where the number nine should be. And even this white gesso isn't fully covering it, so may have to do more than one little coat of that or hope that the other paint will cover it as well. Yeah, they probably should put these numbers on in a light gray. I think that would be a lot smarter, but what do I know? <laughs> The light gray could still be seen. All right, I'm not waiting long enough for it to dry before I go back over it, so that's my bad. I'm impatient, I just wanna start painting. <laughs> we'll go with that little coat. You can still see the number nine through it a little bit, but I just wanna, I wanna begin already, darn it. So I started at 1 20th of the speed, so actually that's 20 times the speed of normal. Quickly realized that was gonna take forever. So here is a bit of real-time footage so you can see exactly how long <laughs> even the big areas take when you're doing a paint by number. So I quickly switched the time-lapse on my camera above to 60 
times the speed right after this. And you can see that, wow, this is very time consuming. So I thought about getting a bigger brush, but at the same time, with this acrylic paint, like you can only put so much on the canvas at a single time, even with a big brush, because it will dry out pretty quickly. And even though in the previous video, I said that this said it was like an oil painting, I suspected it was acrylic paint that is just supposed to end up looking like an oil painting at the end. And yes, that is accurate. It is acrylic paint, so it dries very quickly. So yes, you can put bigger brushes out here, but the brushes they put with a kit are fine because you can only put so much paint out, like I said, before it dries up. So you need to be careful about that. In my opinion, also with these Paint My Numbers, there are so very few spots in them that have big enough spaces to use a bigger brush that the brush that came with the set is just fine. So don't worry about that. You can actually get away with doing this entire painting with the brushes that came in the set, which I was actually quite surprised with <laughs> because I did not think when I opened these brushes, I'm like, uh, no, I don't think these are gonna work, but they did and they do. So that's good news for everyone out there. I will tell you a little bit more about the brushes later, however. I do want to get back to the, where you put acrylic white paint or acrylic gesso over the numbers, that does not work. So don't do that. In my opinion, it, it just is bad. <laughs> I'm so glad I tried it though, because now I know that's Jack shaking himself in the background there because it leaves a different sheen on the gesso. So even though it's supposed to be white gesso, just like what's on this canvas, it makes the sheen different. And I think you can probably see that here in a few places. Oh, maybe the studio lights are kind of messing with that, but don't do it. There is enough paint, even in these big places, that you don't think there's gonna be enough paint, but there is. Just use the paint that comes with the kit to go back over those numbers a few coats and cover them. It won't look weird, it won't look bad, it looks natural. So use the paint that comes with the kit. Do not use the white acrylic to cover over those numbers. It just does not work. And I'm hoping you can see from the few times that I've put real time footage in here without it being sped up, how terribly, wonderfully, terribly, I don't know, however you like to look at it, intricate this is. It just, you even when you have big spaces, it takes forever, forever to fill them in. And while it is satisfying to see these spaces filled in, it is also a little bit excruciating. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to add up the footage later in this video and tell you exactly how long this took because you will be shocked, I am sure. So my question to you is, have you guys done a paint by number and what do you think of it? I found that I was very disassociated from the picture itself. Like I was just filling in holes and it's neat when you come back in the studio later and look at your progress but at the moment in the painting, I didn't even know what I was painting. Like it took me a long time to figure out up there that I was painting a bird. <laughs> so I did not like that very well. Plus if you have like Adobe Photoshop and there's an old video I have where I made a couple of dog pictures into more of a posterized dog or a more abstract dog, I will link that in the corner for you guys. However, I can choose the levels in Photoshop of how oh, abstract or stylized that I want that. And I think they chose too many levels in their paint by numbers here. I think they could choose way less levels, make it more simple, like way more simplified, make all of the paint areas bigger so you don't have such small intricate areas. And this would be a much more enjoyable experience. I guess if you like to waste a lot of time, <laughs> Like, am I giving this away already too early? But anyway, if you like to waste a lot of time and hurt your body by bending over and all of that, then go for it. There's Jack, he's playing with toys. He, he never ends, <laughs> he's so cute. Speaking of bending over, I quickly realized that working on my table on a flat surface was absolutely not going to work. So I grabbed my orbital easel, oh my goodness, you guys, if you don't know what an orbital easel is, I will link it below. 
I have no association with them. I just really like their product. I don't even know if they still make it because I got it so many years ago. I assume they do. Anyway, grabbed that and attached the canvas to it with some Harbor Freight C-Clips and just got to painting on this wonderful easel that kept my body more upright, <laughs> my neck and elbows in a lot less pain, and it's rotatable and I don't know, I don't know what you want to say. You can adjust the angle up and down, so it's just much easier to work on in this kind of crazy scenario of this crazy paint by number. <laughs> and now my Aussie is growling at Jack in the background, so enjoy that. So yeah, orbital easel to the rescue. I still had some sore elbows, which I will tell you about in the end and why. <laughs> but you can see that tiny little brush that came with it is actually really handy for some of these small areas. Worked great. There's Jack again, squeaking his, yeah, he always squeaks his toys and I just can't get away with this recording without it. So enjoy the squeaking, sorry about that, but it's, it's, it's my life right now. <laughs> So speaking of Jack, this was also the week that my husband and son were out of town for Ultimate Adventure. Go check it out. It is very popular online, all the social medias, UA 2022, ah, can't even say that. UA 2022 is probably the hashtag. So there's probably a lot of videos. I went on Ultimate Adventure last year with my husband, put out a video or two associated with it. It was super fun. I sketched the whole time getting ready for Inktober. Anyway, I have Jack <laughs> at home all day, every day, and he is used to going to work with my husband every day. So being home with him and him being home is new for him. He's like, what do I do with myself? So during painting this paint by number, I also had Mr. Jack with his squeaky toys and balls and ropes bugging me <laughs> every second of the day. Like I tried to exercise him, I tried to bring him out and run him and play with him, but no, it, it, it just didn't work. So like every three seconds here, I was, okay, that's probably an exaggeration, but like every 30 seconds, how about that? It's probably more like every 10 seconds, he was bringing me the next toy that I had to grab and throw through the house that like out my studio door for him. So this did get a little bit interrupted by Mr. Jack, but He's so cute, he's so sweet, he's worth it. It's just, uh, yeah, I'm like, can I just concentrate on my painting for a minute? <laughs> but no, he wouldn't let me. So the paint is good quality. I mean, it seems like it to me, it covers really well. Yeah, the light colors take a couple coats to cover those black <laughs> numbers, but that's okay. However, I did pull out my own acrylic painting brush that was a slightly different tip than the super, super fine pointy ones they gave. And I really enjoyed that. However, I, you totally can get away, like I said already, with the brushes that came in the kit, which totally surprised me. They seemed so cheap and so cheap. <laughs> I don't know another word that I did not think that you could do this whole painting with them, but I actually chose their flat brush over mine in a couple of instances. So yeah, you can do this entire thing with just the stuff that comes in the kit, which is surprising, which is great. I really like that. So you see how much progress I am getting along in here? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally being sarcastic here. I am trying to work from left to right in some kind of order so that I feel some progress and I see some areas filled in and I'm getting kind of discouraged. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting some big areas filled in and oh, oh yeah, it, oh. it's not a big deal to switch from one color to the next either, by the way, because they make the little flip tops in the paint so easy and you have your water pot there anyway, so you can just swish your brush out real quick and do that. And you kind of need to do that in the middle of other colors anyway. Like if you, even if you're doing all of the same color, you swish your brush out a little bit because it tends to dry out. And so having a little bit of a tiny bit moist brush helps. But yeah, I, oh, oh, there's so many little numbers. They, they never end. They just never end. Anyway, I know I told you guys that I was only going to release one video per week, but I have been releasing two videos per week, even though I said that 
a couple lots of videos ago. Wow, that did not work out. I don't know how to English tonight, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, I, I've been able to release two videos per week, so just enjoy it while you can. It may change in the future when my husband and son come back from Ultimate Adventure, but for now, I get to spend my evenings in the studio because I have nothing else to do, and I'd rather be in my studio than anywhere else. So we'll see how long that lasts, but two videos per week for now. One when I can't sustain that anymore. I've been visiting my grandma. We've been having a good time. Been renovating a little house. That's always uh, fun. Like the progress is pretty awesome. I will post a video on that later. Well, not a video on this channel, but a link to a video on a different channel where you can see that if you would like. But that will be later. And in the meantime, enjoy this excruciating stuff. All right, I am all done. Hang on, I gotta show you guys. A sec. Wait, oh, it's locked. Shoot. Isn't it beautiful? It is dark outside, so we got studio lights. Such a beautiful painting. Okay, fine, it's not done. But I am definitely done. I'm so tired. My eyes are red, I'm tired of looking at this. I'm tired of painting it. And my elbow hurts because I tend, because I'm right-handed, to be leaning over on my chair, the arm of my chair, and my elbow's actually bruised from doing that. <laughs> so I wish I could be ambidextrous and paint tiny little places, but I can't. Yeah, so this was not fun and it's not done, but I am determined to finish it. There's fuzz flying around. Anyway, so I will work on it a minimum of one hour a week until it's done. Who knows how long that will take? So make sure you're subscribed down below if you don't want to miss this horrible journey. <laughs> so as I've already mentioned, the product quality is actually incredibly impressive. I could do the whole painting with just the brushes that came with it plenty of paint for several layers when you need to go over those numbers more than once. So I know I've already said all this, but just to reiterate, it's it's good quality. It's just not my jam. I will not be doing a paint by number probably ever again. Diamond painting? Heck yes. Check out that video if you missed it because that was, I just want to do another one and another one and another one, <laughs> but I can't because I have other things to do, but eventually I will order more from that company because they were affordable and fun. This, this is not fun. <laughs> this is not fun. <sighs> okay. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Do the noise again with her. If she will. <laughs> she doesn't know what to think about that. Look at Mopey too down there. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> She's so happy over there. <laughs> Puppy pass. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> He's feeding dog. Fuck out of